Hi there, this video will instruct you how to make a gingerbread ornament. You're going to cut everything according to the instruction document provided with the purchase of this template. So we have the shape of a gingerbread man. And then we have two centers. And then we have three different petal sizes. So for the largest petals, there's two of them, and we're going to use the one quarter inch dowel rod. So if you have one of my newer dowel rod sets, I do color code them. So place that dowel rod down in the middle of the petal. Thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinch it up from the right side and roll it along your index finger. Okay, right down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinch it up with your other hand with your thumb and then just roll it along your finger thumb index finger holds the dowel rod in place place your thumb and index finger around it pinch it up and once you have it pinched up i let go and roll it along For our next two petals, so layer three and four, we're going to use the 3 16 inch dowel rod, which is our blue shade. Place it down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinch it up, and roll. Pinch and roll. And then for our last three, they're all the same size, and we're going to use the 1 8 inch dowel rod, which is our purple color. Now before we do roll them up, we're going to use our precision scissors, and we're going to cut in between each of the petals. So just do a slight cut. In between this allows us to get that center a little bit smaller as our we work our way in you just don't want to cut off the petal so I'm using craft paper and this is by recollections from Michaels this one is 65 pound if you wanted to you could glue two bodies together for more stability um, or you can use a hundred pound or 110 pound. I didn't check to see if they offer the craft paper in that size. So we're gonna keep the three stacked. We're gonna place that dowel rod down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath. You're gonna pinch it up and roll it. Pinch up and roll. And then for the centers, there's two of them exactly the same size. We're going to stack them. And we're going to take our precision scissors. And we're going to go in between one of them. Do a slight cut. You're going to skip a petal. So it's like every two petals. And cut into the center. Just don't cut off the previous ones. So just skip two and cut in. Skip two and cut. So you can see all those small slivers. Now you're going to take, you're going to separate them. 
And we're going to take an embossing stylus. So these are smaller ones. This one is from Dollar Tree. Um, anything that has the smaller tip on it. There's lots of different um, ones out there, but this one works great. So this is the larger of the two ends. And just at the very side where the seeds are, which I call, you just do a circular motion and it's gonna make it look like a spoon shape, basically. So it will no longer be flat. So you can see these are flat and then here it turned it into a spoon shape. And we're gonna go around and do this to both of these. Okay, and I'll do the second one. You're going to do exactly the same thing. By doing this little extra step, I promise you it does make the difference with your centers. So you want to use a soft foam mat when you're doing this. All right, so now we're gonna take the our metal ball stylus tool. So we're gonna use the second to smallest and we're just gonna pull each of those centers up towards the center. So just pull it towards you. We're going to set it to the side and do exactly the same thing. So it's just lifting those petals, curling them towards the center. We're going to assemble our flower. So we're going to start from largest to smallest. So we're going to set the two out. We're not going to roll the center of this one. So we're going to take a little bit larger metal ball stylus. So I'm just going to hold that there so we don't roll it. So this will be our bottom layer. We don't want to roll the center because we wanted to glue it flat to our gingerbread body. Just roll it in the center to lift those petals up. Add some hot glue. Okay, we have an X here, two petals. Look at a petal and bring it straight down right in between. So you're alternating the placement. Okay, take your next two and we're gonna roll the centers. Really lift those petals up. Add your hot glue. Keep rotating your flower around. Look at a petal, look at these two petals and place it in between. We're keeping this flower kind of flat. We don't want our gingerbread to have a big belly. <laughs> Rotate your flower. Look at a petal, look at these two petals, and bring it straight down in between. Now you can use your metal ball stylus and stir it. Just make sure it doesn't shift. Okay. 
for our last three. We're going to set them out on our flower shaping mat. You're going to roll it with the smallest metal ball stylus because we cut into these in between each petal. Our center is going to get much smaller. So roll it directly right in the center. Okay, then we're going to take our centers we already styled. You're going to roll it in the center and really close it in on, e on itself. And roll it again. Now I'm really going to squish, squeeze it together, smash it, <laughs> however you want to describe it. Okay. We're going to add some glue and glue it into our other center. So we're working from the center out. Open it up and put it right in the center. So that's what it looks like. Fold it up and around. Press it down. Squeeze the bottom together. Add your hot glue and we're going to glue it into the center. And give it a moment to dry. Fold the petals one in front of the other. Add some hot glue. We're going to look at the one side petal and we're going to glue it in between those petals. So I looked at these two and this petal. Give it a moment to adhere. Okay. Now the petals are going to go one in front of the other again right around the outer ledge. Add your hot glue. We're going to look at a petal and place it in between. So when I'm working at it from the center out, I always look at my side petals because it's easier for me to see. So these two I looked at and I looked at that one. Okay, and again, we're going to fold them up. You can open them up slightly. Placing them around that center and in front of the previous layers, petal, in front of the petals of this layer, sorry. Hope that makes sense. And now we're just going to add our glue. We'll look at a petal and place it in between. So come straight down and let that center open. super pretty and we're gonna bring back our gingerbread man now you can punch a hole in it now or you can make these into magnets as well um, but I'm just not I'm not gonna punch my holes in it right now so now we're going to attach it to our body so I'm gonna look at these two and kind of put them right there at his neck So I just add some glue on the back here in that circle. So those bottom two petals, put it right at the neck. <laughs> Put 
Oh my goodness, so cute. <laughs> Those are really cute. Now we get to decorate it with your puff or um, dimensional paint. Or you can draw it with markers, whatever you want. So I am using the Tulip Puffy Paint. Um, I do have a set I purchased on Amazon as well that has a lot of different colors. So whichever one you want to use. So I'm just using up my larger ones. And you can decorate it again however you want. I don't have the perfect steady hand for this, but <laughs> we're going to do it. So for mine, I'm going to go around the edge, but in, in a little bit. So hopefully you don't see my head come in. I'm going to lift up the flower a little bit. And you don't want to drag it along. Just kind of letting it fall into place. I've been watching this technique on the cookie um, the cookie challenge shows on the Food Network. <laughs> I am lifting up the petals, and I don't do this beforehand. And again, we're just going around the edge. I'm trying to come in, stay in a little bit from the edge, like it's an outline. Now you don't necessarily have to lift your petals. I was like, I can put this on my Lazy Susan, I forgot. Now you can add your eyes, and then I like to outline my flower very, very carefully. So let's go to the center. And keep it super simple so it's um, like you're just using icing to decorate your gingerbread so you could have a lot of fun with your kids with this and now I'm gonna go around the petals and and this wouldn't be necessary it's totally up to you This part I do stay kind of right at the edge because it's super hard once you get in closer. Hopefully you can hear me. I have to lean down really close. Now, I didn't make this super small, like my gingerbread is six inches high. Just because gingerbread people are generally larger, 
and I didn't want my flower too small. I don't add any to the center. I just kind of go around the petals and do that the best you can. Kind of highlights the shape of the petals. So we kept the petal design super simple. Yeah, definitely a lazy Susan I'll have to use. <laughs> Just watch, it will smear. We're good. Oops, now you can't see his head. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use the red. But again, you can use any colors. And make it, you can make it into a girl, add a bow, however you want. So then I just add a face. And then we add some zigzags. I tried to keep it super simple because I didn't want to mess something up. And then I just set it someplace safe to dry. Don't be like me where you kept hitting it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's always when I film. This is the previous one I made and he's still drying as well. And then one I made earlier is dry, except for the green a little bit. That was a different type of paint. So I wouldn't do the two layers because it didn't mesh really well. So these two seem to work really well. So 
I'm almost out of this one. But again, have some fun with it. I can't wait to see your decorations. Thank you for watching.